back on NFL Daily. Seven games to go through, starting with a delicious one. Sunday night football, the rematch. Rams at Lions. The Lions are favored by three and a half in this game. And for some reason, I don't know why, I feel so much better about the Lions coming into this season than the Rams when last year... When the season was ending, I thought the Rams were going to win that game, first of all. They were in Lions territory with a chance to take the lead late in that game before a penalty backed them up, and then they, they punted it, and they ended up losing what, to me, was a coin flip type of game. And yeah, the Lions added some good pieces in the secondary. That is part of it, but I think it's the weird preseason the Rams have had that have included a lot of injuries, and we're going to probably have to wait till Sunday to see how healthy this offensive line is. Puka Nakua has been out there at, at practice, but wasn't 100%. And maybe it's the injuries. It's just some weird vibe stuff where they, they trade Ernest Jones and they're starting Troy Reader. I thought it was going to be this undrafted kid, Omar Spates, who I think eventually is going to take that job um, from, from what the reporting has been. But for now, it's Troy Reader. And I actually think that matchup is a good place to start, Patrick, because I look at the middle of the field and I just think that's where the Lions absolutely kill you and that's where i'd be a little concerned if i'm the rams in those linebackers yeah it, it, that that is the concern but they would have never been in that circumstance uh had they been like oh well, we're not gonna be able to make it work w- without ernest jones and, and i think it's honestly par for the course like if you consider the cam Akers situation mm. there's there's always some sort of Derek weird Goff. yeah weird vibe uh guy departs and it's maybe it ends up working out for ernest jones in in, in nashville and and working out uh for the rams i just I'm I'm seeing a healthy Matthew Stafford, and and you just have to I have to start there, uh, because when Stafford is on, he's just so good. You mentioned the fact that it was a coin flip, and and we do have the benefit of hindsight, and we look back at some of these playoff games as though like that was the outcome that was destined by the universe, right? But it's just it's not always. No, not I think always. the Rams would have made the Super Bowl if the simulation played out the NFC playoffs ten times. They would have made it twice, exactly twice. And and so it's right. Jared Verse and Braden Fisk come in. No, they're not going to replace Aaron Donald. Literally no one can, but it can be different. And we had questions about the Rams defense where they were just kind of bubblegum and airing it together. And several of those guys panned out. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm uh, comfortable with, the, with them too. I just Rams. think the Lions are going to be one of the best teams in the NFL. Yeah. And they have great continuity. And the Rams have, have solid continuity too. But again, I'll go back to the Rams defense. I do want to talk about their offense. Tredavious White, Darius Williams, that's their outside cornerbacks. Two names we haven't really talked about on NFL Daily much, and yet I think they're going to be so important for this team. It could really work out. I think they liked everything they saw at Tredavious White. Could be a great value pick. So could Darius Williams, who left the Rams, had some up and down years with the Jaguars. Now he's back. They're, they're in a big spot here. This defense might go as far as kind of those two cornerbacks take them and yeah, going up against our guy, J-Mo. It's J-Mo breakoff season. I don't know if he's our guy, but I'm rooting. No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a J-Mo guy, and I, I think that that number of 50 and a half uh, is, in, is in danger. It, yes. It, it, the number is in danger uh, coming up on Sunday Night Football. Mike Tirico, Chris Collinsworth, Melissa Stark uh, to kick off the season 